Um, so I was editing, um, this story time on the computer, and I just can't hear myself. <laughs> One thing, the fan was going, I don't have it on right now, even though it's kind of hot in here, it's getting a little warm. Um, it wasn't this morning, they have the windows open, airing out the house. So, my brother-in-law came into the kitchen, which is right off, right off from my room. And so I got, like, shy or something all of a sudden. I was like, crap, he can probably hear me. Um, and they will tease me. <laughs> so, they're not home. So I'm doing another one. I'm going to redo the, um, dentist, this, <coughs> dentist, dentist story. Um, well. I was little. I'm not sure exactly how old. And I was just going to the dentist downtown, children's hospital. Um, and at that time, the emergency room was across the street. Um, so that, there was that. Now it's um, Cincinnati Children's. Now the emergency room is like around the back of the main campus instead of across the street. I think there's apartment buildings across the street now, or no? No, no. Now, <laughs> there's another campus to the hospital across the street. It's across the street and a little down the ways, and I think there's an apartment building right next to that. They are <laughs> changing things up. All the time. Like, every time I would go there the last couple of years, something was different. <laughs> like, I would, I used to go to MM Clinic, which is Milo Meningen Seal Clinic. And, um, it's where you go and you meet, like, all your doctors, the whole team, all at once. And they discuss your overall care. I remember the last few times I went to that place, like, one time I went, and the area, like, the way, there was the waiting room, and a little more of the waiting room, making, like, an L shape, and then there was this whole hallway over next to that, and then the double, double sliding doors. And I came in one time, and, um... There was a registration window on the one side now. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, so anyway, I'm at the dentist in another part of the hospital across the street from the ER. And they had this vintage uh, clown balloon blowing up machine. Probably not what you call it, but... That's what I'm going to call it. I found a picture of it, sort of. Like, the colors are red and yellow. But I remember it being more red than yellow than the picture that I found. So, just when you see, when I put it up on the screen, just imagine it more red than yellow. I couldn't get the balloons because they were latex balloons, and I am anaphylactic to latex. Um, so I didn't do that. Uh, I remember one time... I'm in, th in the dentist chair. I don't remember what was... They were just cleaning or something, whatever. But she had one of those little um, things that you use to hold the mouth open. Which I'll put up on the screen. Um, as I found a picture of, of that. I don't know if you can hear. My sister and brother Hall's dog is losing his mind. For whatever reason. I hope he's not interfering. <laughs> with this story time. So I'm sitting here. I'm in the chair. And I got the thing in my mouth. And she had put. Glove fingers over. The two prongs. To keep it sterile. And one I, picture I found of it. doesn't. Ha it has like cushions. On the prongs. And she had the finger the glove fingers over top of that. 
but the picture I have doesn't have the, the cushions. It's just metal. Anyway, unbeknownst to me, and I'm too, I was too little to, like, after a few years, I started going, is that latex? Like, certain things just, I knew would be latex. <laughs> hey, is that latex? I can't have that. But, um, she had used latex gloves, um, to put the finger of the gloves on this thing. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> and, at some point, my tongue swells up. <laughs> like, three times its normal size. And I'm like, drooling. It's so gross. And I'm freaking out. And she's freaking out. And I don't remember seeing my mom, but <laughs> I do remember the dentist. And she was dressed to the nines. Like, she had the face guard and just full scrubs. Little booties on her shoes. She grabs me, picks me up, carries me across the street to the ER. <laughs> and that's all I remember. Um, I'm sure they gave me uh, an EpiPen shot and, or whatever, or Benadryl, probably, probably Benadryl. And I probably waited there until my tongue went to its normal size. But yeah, that was weird and scary and sticks out in my brain. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> I hope it's better than the original one that I shot. I forgot to say. Bye!